58. There's one in it. <laughs> it's gonna be close. Yeah. You might not actually have. I figured one too. A, a full bucket's too, supposed to be two limits. Yeah, you might because you had some larger fish. You See? might actually have. Nice. Here we go. Yeah. I'm gonna try it yeah, that try south it first. Piece of fish, yeah. What are we getting ready to do? We are cutting up the fish. Getting ready to fillet some fish. We have Tab Carmen here, my best friend, and kind of taught me again how to cut fish. So he's the one that cuts and cooks for me. See if I can't learn you how to actually fillet some fish today. I messed up the last batch quite a bit. I'm just gonna warm myself up real quick and get on with it. Butcher one on camera. Well, that makes it a lot easier to get it now. He goes through and cuts the meat off the skin and then drops over there. And all the he has to do is take the stomach meat out. Yep, just a little, little knife work. Is that your job? Yep. That's his job. And then eat. I'm really good at that part. Yeah, then the fun part, the eating. <laughs> Save you a few of the bigger ones with the egg sacs when we get to them. <laughs> you should have seen that one pound. I showed the picture ounce. that you sent me. Yeah. The egg sack in it was outrageous. Fingers are starting to get a little cold. here for you with an egg sacks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if it's quite that good. <laughs> Look at that sack. <laughs> mm. Look at that. You gotta trim a little bit. Oh, yeah. but, but Alex, that's what I was trying to put your flam. on. The most important thing about the blade is you don't want this. Right. You want it to be I couldn't get my wrist with the tendonitis, so it bothered yep. me. I, I told him, that's good, but at least you have this knife to, mm -hmm. otherwise it'd be even worse. Yeah. The sun was beating on the outside of the tent, making it so warm. Yeah. Well, I know you want to have it warm in there for the equipment. Oh, yeah. All right, Tab, what are we doing today? Today we're going to be cooking some perch. We're going to deep fry some perch today. Say, so, got our batter all seasoned up, got our flour all seasoned up, got a couple bags of perch. Some hot canola oil. I'm gonna deep fry some perch up today. What kind of seasoning are you got in there? So I'm using a little bit of lemon pepper, garlic pepper, and some cayenne. Very nice. Keep it very simple. Looking forward to eating that.
stuff are you? Oh, I, I'll eat them the way they are. You want to just I, don't, I, don't, I don't have to have any party sauce. If you have a preference, I'd be happy to get some for you. No, I'm good. I want to taste the fish and the way you flavored it. Yeah. You know? I like to make a, a little bit of throw ketchup and horseradish in to make a little homemade cocktail sauce. There you go. Dip it in that. Get like that, uh, that shrimp, like they said. What do they call it? Shrimp? The poor man shrimp. Poor man shrimp is what they call perch up here. And it's so good. So good. So. Because even a poor man can go out there and drop a line in the water. <laughs> exactly. Poor man shrimp getting ready to eat some lake perch that we caught. We started fishing, I think I said it already, 8.30. We finished fishing at 12.30. Yeah. Line's uh, our limit. It's fit, you're, the limit is 50 fish a day. That's 100 fish. We just got done uh, cleaning half of them, about. Maybe a little less than half. A little less than half. But and then uh, get some good cooking in while they're still light and uh, definitely enjoy them because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Not done yet. Not quite done. Nope. They're getting there. They're getting there. Alright, so what are you getting ready to make, Alex? I like cocktail sauce with my fried perch, so it's pretty simple. Actually, his dad taught me how. Take ketchup, throw some in there. I'm going to put a lot more in there afterwards, but I like to put a little ketchup down first. And then uh, some horseradish. Mmm. Normally I don't think I'd ever eat this, but get... There we go. Get a good amount in there. Put some more ketchup on top of that. And just mix it up. It's just as good as any cocktail sauce you're going to buy in the store. So for you lazy guys that want to buy cocktail sauce, make your own. Yeah, save a few, get a couple different separate ingredients there. We don't use measuring cups here. My wife would be disappointed. There you go. Delicious cocktail sauce. I'm gonna try it yeah, myself try to first. Eat the fish, yeah. Six. I don't over season too much. It should be pretty light. A little hot. Oh, well, <laughs> physically, yes. You can taste that. You taste the lemon pepper. You do get a hint. Mm -hmm. Get that garlic salt. Very nice. Mm. Worth only having to spend a few hours out there. <laughs> well, seeing as how I know you like things like natural, would you say it's a little on the higher end seasoning wise? Can I go lighter or stronger? More fishy. Think? I wouldn't go lighter. Okay. Yeah. That's good to hear. It's, I think it's perfect. Because mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm notorious for over seasoning things myself. Yeah. I like salt. So. <laughs> I think if somebody else wanted to salt it a little more, they, they could. Add it, yeah. If they wanted to, I'll try it with a little bit of your homemade cocktail sauce. Mm -hmm. So I have yeah, a little bite here, people bite. in the past because when I make it in the black iron pan, I tend to I like this butter, sure. garlic, like garlic cloves, and then just some lemon pepper. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, tell you what, with that between the butter and the lemon pepper, it's pretty salty when you're done. It's pretty ridiculous. Let's we'll throw like on the horseradish. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. This just overpowers the flavors. So. Right, right. That's why I'm not putting nearly as much as you do. <laughs> yeah, I put a little too much on yeah. that. Let me just try it just a little bit. That's yeah. why I usually use the ketchup just to cool it down a little bit when it's fresh. Mm. Just a light bit of ketchup all I need. I want to be able to taste the fish mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. And then the spices on top of it to accentuate the flavor of the mm -hmm. fish. I don't need too much of a sauce, but no, I'm a, I'm like adding it on there. I'm a sauce guy, but I also do appreciate this. Thing. This is where I go first. I mean, it tastes like chicken. You can't beat it. Mm. All right, folks, that concludes our episode on ice fishing with Alex Green and Tab here, and uh, we're out here on Cayuga Lake. It's the winter of 21, 22. We started fishing when. 
me in my, in my life. No, 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 no. <laughs> when, when did you start fit, ice fishing this year? January? This year? No, we, we got early, yeah, January. Right. January was normally, we normally don't get out until February, but we were out in early January this year. This is the first time in four or five years we've been out in January, otherwise we don't start until about now. Now you two are gonna go out tomorrow and finish it out. Five yeah. March, they're gonna close out the season. Yeah, that's what it's all about, right there, folks. It doesn't get any fresher than that. Thank you very much, Deb. Thank you for me having, having me at your house. Glad Alex, to have you. Thank you very much. Anytime. Can't wait to have you back. Central New York perch, right there. <laughs> Come and get some. Yeah, enjoy that.